a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be my, could you be mine, would you be my neighbor? Today we're going to talk about the neighborhood play. Why? Because we got screwed. I'm Adele. I'm Annadelle. And, and we, we love the Dodgers. Nah, maybe we didn't get screwed. Maybe. But the Dodgers were embroiled in a couple of controversial plays this week. That's right. That yeah. involved back-to-back back games. That involved the neighborhood play. Yes. And so that's what we're talking about. In this play, the runner was called safe. In this play, the runner was called out. Right. These are both neighborhood yeah. plays. Mm -hmm. What is the neighborhood play? Well, we decided we were going to look it up. Mm -hmm. What is the neighborhood play? The neighborhood play is a force play. We all know what a force play is. Where a fielder receiving the ball is attempting to force out a runner at second base. Now, the neighborhood play is never at first, it's never at third, it's always at second, just mm -hmm. so you know. So, he's attempting to force out a runner at second base. He catches it and quickly throws it to first base to turn a double play. He doesn't have to touch the base. Or, he can catch the ball, throw it, and then touch the base. Right, was that right? That sounds right. Something like that. Because it's confusing. But we've been using the neighborhood play for decades. Yes, for how long? I'm not sure how long, but I do know that in the 1970s there was a player named Hal McRae, and he used to put his shoulder down and hurl himself into second baseman. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Yeah. So Major League Baseball decided, oh, that's not a good idea, and they created a rule that you had to slide before you went into second base and took out second baseman. Great. That started a whole new can of worms because now they slide everywhere. Right. It's the takeout take slide. It out. Yeah. Right. But they ha do have to have their hand at least able to touch second base to do right. that, to interfere with the play. But the rule happened all because of safety. Right. So it's about safety. But who gets to decide what's safe and what's not safe? Well, the umpire decides. The umpire decides if the takeout slide is legal within the rules of baseball. It is a judgment call of the umpire. But the neighborhood play doesn't have any rules. This is the ultimate authority. The official rules of Major League Baseball. And there isn't a rule about the neighborhood play. There's nothing written in here. But the umpires do have written rules. Right. They have replay regulations. That's right. So the replay regulations are a set of rules for umpires to determine strictly if a play can be reviewed. Right, but there are no rules in Major League Baseball rules. Right. So this is where the problem lies with the neighborhood rule. So what is an umpire thinking when he's deciding, is this a neighborhood play? According to the replay regulation, he's got three factors to decide. One is the throw. What about the throw? I don't know. I guess is the throw pulling the player off of the bag when well, he's trying to make the play. That would be an error, and so it wouldn't be a neighborhood play, right? That makes sense to me. And also, he can determine if the player receiving the throw is making the turn. You know how you turn a double play? Yes. So what is a good turn? Are you making Bravo, a good turn? Bravo! Good one! <laughs> it will be a neighborhood. Right. They get to determine. But that was a bad turn, so that doesn't not make any play. sense at all. That one's very confusing. And finally, if the player receiving the throw was at risk or not, could he have gotten hurt by the runner? And I get, that's safety again, right? So it comes back to safety. The umpires get to decide, is it safe or not? That's right. So replay regulation is actually a written rule that the umpires have. A mm -hmm. written rule. Right. To, de to determine whether a play can be considered a neighborhood play or not. This week, an umpire told Don Mattingly that he didn't believe in the neighborhood rule. So how is a team supposed to know by which rules to play in any certain day? Right. I think that's the biggest problem. Because this is the time of year where Every call can mean something, especially in a World Series game. That's right. You get into the playoffs, or to get to the playoffs, this neighborhood is bigger than that neighborhood. So shouldn't Donnie be able to walk up to an umpire before the game, the second base umpire, and say, do you believe in the neighborhood rule or not? Mm -hmm. And that way, at he least, would at least know. Right. Everybody will play that game. So right. yes. And then he would say, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Won't you? Would you be my? Could you be mine? Won't you be our neighbor? See you next week.